All praises to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Wawakakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like. To the rest of the church who believe as well, including you women, to the dead in Yahweh Shai also, and the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. This is the book of 2 Timothy's chapter 3 and verse 1. This know also that in the last days, and currently we're in the last days. We're in the last of the last days, as I like to say. All right. And really, we've been in the last days since Yahweh Shai went to that cross. Ultimately. Okay. And currently, we're at the end of the world. We're seeing Esau go down. That's why you're seeing fires all the way from California to, you know, Colorado. Things getting burnt up. I forget how many anchor, acres were burnt in California. But when I heard it, I was like, oh my God, that's, that's judgment. The Lord is tearing this place up. Okay. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Go on into that word perilous. Definition, hard to do, to take, to approach, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous, harsh, fierce, savage. And that's why you even had that song by uh, Meg the Stallion, I'm a Savage. That's the mentality that our people take. Savagery, calling themselves a savage, which is what Esau calls the Gadites, the native and the, 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 the native and the Seminole Indians, man. They're called savages. So we're in some times that are very savagery, man. People are evil. They're dark hearted. Their, their thoughts are nowhere on these scriptures. These times are hard to bear. You know, that's why me, I'm an introvert. I don't like being around people in the world unless I have to. And when I say I have to, like if I'm going to work or if I'm at the grocery store, whatever, I don't even like being around them then, but I'll, I'm only around them if I have to be because people are hard to bear because of their wickedness, because of their wickedness. You can't trust them, man. They, they gossip. You see how they, they backbite each other. You know, it's just everything in this society is flipped upside down. So when you're in your right mind. You know, things really get hard to bear because you see things for how they're supposed to be. You see things in the mind of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. But you're in a situation where you got to bear the wickedness around you. Okay? Troublesome. Dangerous. You know, there's, there's more ways to die here than to live. You bite into some food. You thinking it's uh, lawful. You didn't even realize Esau pumped some type of unlawful food or chemical in there man we're polluted you know everything about this society it just has to go for men shall be lovers of their of their own selves jake is all about themselves you want to know a selfish nigga look at uh pole light no light from the unconscious community man no light from the unconscious community has been pretty much exposed for getting over on our people. And that's good for them. Now, that just shows you people in these last days are lovers of themselves. They're not worried about their brother or their sister, man. People are worried about trying to get the next dollar. People are worrying about trying to be the top or trying to be looked at as, you know, something special. And yo, Step over the next person who's done absolutely nothing to you just to get there. You know, everything is about me, me, me. That's why, you know, there's no sense of loyalty no more. You know, you got people still out in, in street culture, living that street life. People ain't following the code no more, man. You got to be bugged out of your mind to still be in the streets in 2020. You got to be out of your goddamn mind. All right. You got six, nine. Walking around, known rat, you know? 
and the guy is 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 selling <laughs> you know millions off of his music so we're in a time where people are lovers of themselves man people ain't worried about the next man or next woman as long as they got it they're good covetous you know wanting what the next person has let's go into that word covetous loving money avarice I never heard of that word avarice before. In fact, what I can do is look it up. Basic uh, definition. All right, so avarice, excessive or inordinate desire or gain, greed for wealth. And that shows you money itself isn't evil. It's the love of money. Okay, so we're in times where people have a love for money to the point they're willing to want it so bad they'll rob somebody, kill somebody for it, do wickedness for it, because Esau has put people in a position where things are becoming harder and harder to afford, which causes decent people to basically have to turn to monsters, man. Okay, and going back into perilous times, one of the definitions was savagery. So going back to what I said about Meg Thee Stallion, when she came out with the song, I'm a Savage. That is the, the perfect definition of where our people are today. Our women act like savages. Our women have a hyena spirit on them. If you look at the hyena, did you know not only does a male hyena have a penis, of course, but the female hyena also has a penis. Okay? And that's how our women act. They act like they have a rod between their legs, man. And I'm not talking about getting popped. I'm talking about they act like they they physically have a rod between their legs like they're a man. They carry themselves with a masculine dominant energy. They act like hyenas, man. That's a hyena spirit. Okay? Just that wild, out of control spirit. Instead of being a lioness, so to speak, they want to be hyenas. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, Boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Look, man, all you got to do is watch a, a, a damn rap video. You don't even got to listen to the words. Turn the volume down. You can just see them boasting and bragging just through their movement, their actions. We're in a society where it's all about what you have to offer me. What do you have so I can benefit? And, and get over on you. You know, supplant, so to speak. You know, our people, you know, being Israelites, you know, the, the name Jacob means supplanter. But our people, they try to supplant the most high. They try to supplant their own in wickedness, man. We're in a time where, you know, people love themselves. Our people are just so proud and so arrogant that... They'll literally, in front of your woman, you know, flash money or just do something crazy to literally commit adultery right in front of you, man. Have your woman lusting on somebody else. Like, this society promotes nothing but adultery and pride, man. Homosexuality, pedophilia is damn near illegal, man. Okay? Boasters, proud, blasphemers. You got a lot of people still thinking that the, 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 the so-called white man is the real image of Yahweh Shai, our Lord, of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. You know, when you think of the Heavenly Father, you think of a white man also. That's, that's just, that's blasphemy, man. That's bugged out. Okay? Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And your parents are also your spiritual parents in this truth. All right? I think you can find that in uh, uh, Ephesians six and one okay matter of fact let me just get that since i spoke on it let me see if i can find it children obey your parents in the lord and it said in the lord because it's not speaking of your actual physical earthly parents it's speaking of your parents spiritually you know the men the men in this truth who have been laboring before you all right who tell you the right way who who you know, give you good doctrine. They feed you in the spirit. All right. Th th those are your parents. But we're in a time where you have people disrespecting 
the men that taught them. People come into this truth and they act as if they learned it on their own. They get proud. You got Israelites selling out over money and all that, man. Okay. But let's go back to where we was. Uh, boasters, proud. Second Timothy 3 and 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. You know, because having love for your brother is supposed to be natural. It shouldn't have to be something you have to force or be paid to do or be told to do. It should just come naturally, man. There are certain things within the law that should just be in you. Okay, but our people are so evil, you know, they don't, they don't have that righteous spirit on them. Without natural affection, which goes back to the curses. How a man shall have an evil eye towards his brother. Truth breakers. False accusers going to truth breakers. Without a treaty or covenant of things not mutually agreed upon. Abstinences from hostilities. Uh, two, that cannot be persuaded to enter into a covenant and placeable. So pretty much a lot of people, they can't keep their word for nothing, man. You got a lot of men, you know, as the old saying goes, all a man has is his balls and his word. A lot of men break their word every time, man. You can't trust them for nothing. Okay? Which makes it hard for you to want to loan out to other brothers because you got men and, and just people in this world, they're not about what they say. False accusers, incontinent. Fierce despisers of those that are good. And that's why you got a lot of people, man, they actually want to kill us, man. All because we push this truth. All because we push the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Traitors. Heady. Go into that word, heady. To fall forwards, headlong, uh, sloping. Slopping or sloping. Precipitously. Precipitate, rash, reckless, okay? And that's our people, irrational, okay? Without rational thought, man, just reckless, okay? That's why a lot of Jake kill other Jake over some of the dumbest matters, man. They be cousins, wouldn't even know it, and even if they knew it, they wouldn't even care because of the, the, the streets they grew up on or the, the damn set they claim, the gang they rep, whatever, Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Okay, and a lot of you women, you're of this world. And a lot of men try to impress you. And they do a lot of, you know, just worldly things to please you. Women alone, you know, can cause a lot of people to pretty much go straight away from the truth. To be thinking about the world. Being lovers of pleasures, man. You'd be willing to sell out. You'd be willing to, you know, put a hole in the doctrine because Esau gave you a backdoor deal. He paid you off. Okay? Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness. And you have a lot of people with these nice garments. They go out there and teach. They get thousands of views. And a lot of people might say, oh, these are men of God right here. These are my favorite teachers. Okay? That's what man sees. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. And a lot of people deny the power just by saying you don't have to call them the names. The names don't matter. That's denying the power, man. Fighting against the doctrine, that's denying the power. Okay? Being an unbeliever against the true doctrine, you're fighting against the power. Or really, you're denying the power, excuse me. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Okay? So our people, they're constantly learning, but they never come to the truth. And the reason why a lot of our women, they're known as silly women, they don't come to the truth because they're blind from the truth. Okay, so let me go to, um, because it said ever learning and never coming to the truth, right? 
This is Romans 11 and verse 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. But the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Okay, so here it is. Israel seeks for the truth. They might be learning all these different diverse knowledges. I guess if that's a word. Different diverse doctrines that they might see as beneficial. Because you got good knowledge and you got bad knowledge. Okay? You can you can tell somebody how to rob a bank. Or you can tell somebody how to create a bank and own it. Knowledge can be good or bad. But a lot of our women, they're following behind a lot of bad knowledge that doesn't benefit them. They forsake the truth because the truth doesn't sound good or beneficial to them because at the end of the day, the Lord deprived her from wisdom. I know the spirit's kind of jumping around everywhere, but that's just how the spirit works. So a lot of our women, you know, always learning, but never coming to the truth. There's a lot of things you can learn. But if it's not of the uh, doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, it's not going to help you. Okay. But let me jump forward because, in fact, let's let's jump back. Second uh, Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. So let's reflect on that. We're in the last days right now, okay? And we know that how because of prophecy. Prophecy is like our measuring stick. That's how we measure the times that we are in. James 5 and 3. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last day. So I say that to say this. Here in these last days, don't be trying to gather up food and, and save up all this money, planning on retirement, you know, thinking about the future in the next 20, 30 years. Because, see, we're coming into some very dark times. This society can't collapse at any given time. An EMP attack can happen at any given time, man. And as the prophets, we say these things, you know, we might sound like we're repeating ourselves or certain brothers might say things and other brothers say it as well. And neither one of them brothers even watched the video. They just said something that lined up with the spirit. You know, that's something I've noticed. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, Satan try to hinder a lesson because a brother will say something and then... I'll be like, man, I was going to say that, but now I'm, I don't end up saying it because people going to think, oh, this guy's a damn parrot. But really, that's just Satan, man. You know, we got to speak. We got to we got to present this word. So here in these last days, don't put your faith or your confidence in your money. Don't put your faith or your confidence in your job, man, because when this society collapses and that chip comes, you're going to be forced. You're going to be tempted. Are you going to take the chip? All right. Esau can use our women, our children. OK, he'll use your own flesh against you. All right. We have to be in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah and understand one thing. We don't have to be in the same spirit as the rest of this world. Yeah. People out here doomsday prepping here in these last days, man, because they're not in the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You have a lot of people gathering silver and gold and, and trying to get food and all these different things here in these last days because they know we're at the end. All right. But this is the spirit we got to be in. This is Luke chapter 12 and 28. If then God so clothe the grass, which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven. So here it is. You know, you go outside, you can look at the grass blades. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, feeds the grass. The, the, the grass gets watered by the rain. You know, the, the, the grass, you know, has people out there that that trim it down. OK, because ultimately, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai controls man's steps. OK, so just as Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai closed the grass, that's going to be destroyed by the missiles. Why wouldn't he? Matter of fact, let me just keep going. Which is today in the field and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Speaking of when the missiles come. How much more will he clothe you, O ye of little faith? So you have a lot of our people who don't understand. Like, we're, we're giving you these scriptures 
to boost your spirit. And a lot of people, they don't actually apply them. They might not believe or they might lack faith. And here it is. They're still, you know, wondering when all hell breaks loose, am I going to be okay? You know, should I save money? Should I save up on food? There's nothing wrong with having food and having extra things. But the, 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 the issue, you have people that put their faith in it. They put their trust in it. Okay. And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. So don't be trying to heap up treasures for yourself here in these last days, trying to overcome what Esau's doing. If we don't have Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, there's no other way. Okay? And seek not ye what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, neither be ye of doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek after. And your father knoweth that ye have need of these things. But rather seek ye the kingdom of the power, and all these things shall be added unto you. Alright, so don't focus on this world. Don't focus on trying to uh, benefit in this world. Focus on pleasing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Keep faith and know that he has you, man. Just as he closed the grass, which is going to be eventually burnt up. They're grass blades. You can go out right now. You know, grab a handful of grass and just throw it in the wind. You're not going to care about that. But even then, the most high uh, waters the grass, man, still. All right? Although there's an abundance of it, the most high still takes care of it. So how much more us being his people? So we can't be in the spirit of a loser and having a doubtful mind. Okay? We got to have the spirit of surety. Okay? And we're just giving you the truth, man. Proverbs 22 and verse 17. Bow down thine ear and hear the words of the wise and apply thine heart unto my knowledge. And the only ones who are going to do that are those that humble themselves. That's why you got to bow down thine ear. All right. You got to be humble when you hear this truth, when you hear these knowledge, when you hear these knowledgeable words, knowledge, wisdom and understanding. OK, a lot of people have knowledge. They might know something, but they're not wise enough to apply it. All right. That's still an idiot. Bow down thine ears and hear the words of the wise and applying thine heart unto my knowledge, for it is a pleasant thing if thou keep them within thee. They shall withal be fitted in thy lips that thy trust may be in the Lord. I have made known to thee this day, even to thee. So you have to be, uh, you know, confident in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Your surety has to be in the Lord and understand that here in these last days, you cannot be in the spirit of everybody else, man, because we are in some dark times. And on top of being in some dark times, we're in a time where people have very little faith. All right. Here it is. Signs and miracles are happening all throughout the earth and you still have people unsure. Still questioning, still doubting. They're going to be destroyed, man. And if you have little faith, but you still feel in your spirit at heart, this is the truth. Just pray for more faith. Don't become like, you know, these deadbeats out here. Who just absolutely have no hope. The only thing they hope for is that we're wrong. Alright. And the only people that's going to receive this truth. Are those who humble down. So I'm, I'm going to close it out with this. Proverbs 11 and verse 2. When pride cometh then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. So you, you got to bow down your ear to this truth man. You know you can't be like the world. And think you know it all. We all had to humble ourselves. And reject everything else we were taught in this world. Because all of it was a lie. Okay. Everything's a lie in this damn society, man. All right. Only thing that you really learn that's true is math. And I said that back in the world. You know, it's funny how we get we get taught all these lies. But really, the only truth is math. And then it turns out that the word math goes back to the Hebrew word amath, which means uh, truth, man. You know, and I learned that from Elder Apostle Gabar. All right. And, you know, seeing how. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is feeding us, and we're feeding you, we feed each other. He's only going to give this wisdom to the lowly. And if you're proud, you're boastful, like the rest of these people here in these last days, you're not going to increase, and the Lord's not going to be with you. All right? So we got to humble down and, and, and pray for more wisdom, pray for more faith, and understand that here in these times to come, you know, Jacob's trouble is right at the door, although we're really in it now, but it's really going to enhance and pick up. And it's going to be shown why it's considered Jacob's trouble. When these days come, that's when you have to apply these scriptures and understand that the Lord is with his people. 
All right. So, Kahala, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom.